combining designs is a great way to get unique embroidery combos on your M370. You could embroider several small designs or add text to a design anywhere within the frame. For this video, I'm going to combine these three designs, the border, the rainbow, and the text, and I'll walk you through how to do this. So I'm going to clear this off first, go back to the menu, and I'm going to start by adding the border. So find the design within the border menu, this one, and then square, and then the design I'm going to be using is number three. Tap that one, and then you want to press set, which will bring your design into a screen with a bunch of different edit settings. From here, you can move the design, resize it, rotate it, change the color palette, mirror the design, add to the design, or delete the design. Now we want to make this border fill the entire frame, so I need to tap on size and adjust the size to fill the frame. Just like that, then you can hit OK. Now we want to add our rainbow design, so tap add in the bottom purple banner, and we're going to find the second design. And I know it's in this one and then under this menu and it's the first design. Again, tap on it and press set to load it into the edit menu. Then you can see on the edges here how the design is overlapping the border. So I want to resize it down a little bit. So hit size and I'm going to resize it pretty much as small as it can go. Hit OK. Now we want to add our text. So hit add and go to the font slash text menu. And number six is the font I'm going to choose. Tap on it and it's going to take us to this screen where we can write in our text, sunshine and, where the and is the ampersand symbol. I'm going to start with the capital S. Now there are three sizes of font to choose from and it automatically is set to large. I know that the text isn't going to fit in my frame if it's the largest font size, so I'm going to scale it down to small. You can do this by pressing this button in the bottom left corner twice. So now that's on small and you can finish typing out that line. Once you're done, you can hit set and we're going to adjust the position so that it's up above the rainbow and below the top border. So I'm gonna hit move and move it all the way up about there. Hit okay. And now I just want to adjust the space between each of my letters. So I'm going to hit font edit here and then the ABC button with the little arrows. And from here, you can adjust the size between your letters to be smaller or larger. So I'm just going to make mine just a little bit larger, like so. Then I'll add the second line of text, which will say rainbows. So go to add again, find the font, and then type in rainbows. Again, I'm going to use a capital R. and hit set. And now I'm going to do the same thing and move it down to the bottom. And then adjust the space between the letters. Once I've got all three of my design elements in, I'm just going to adjust the color palette slightly. You can do this by pressing this button in the right corner. And then you can change the color of each of your individual designs. I'm going to start with my text. And then you can hit the plus or minus button up here to change the design that's selected. So now I'm on my border. And then finally the top text. All right, and then hit OK. Once you're happy with your designs, you can hit edit end in the bottom right corner which will take you to this screen, which allows you to move all of your designs as a group within the frame. But because of my border, my designs don't move too much. So from here, I can hit embroidery, which will take us to the embroidery screen. This screen shows you the total number of stitches the design has, the total time it will take, and the color sequence. From here, make sure your machine is threaded, then hoop up your fabric with some stabilizer and you can start stitching.
My design has finished stitching, I've taken it out of the hoop and I've trimmed it down. But that's all done, that's how you combine designs on the M370. If you want to know more, you can check out our other videos on the M370 and don't forget to tag us on Instagram so we can see your creations too. Thanks for watching and happy stitching!